Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I uh, am glad that you joined me today. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about something that's dear to my heart, and that is my love for our nation and the appreciation that I have for the freedom that we enjoy. You know, freedom is an interesting thing. It can be used to do th something that's good, or freedom could be used to do whatever I want to do without any regard to anyone else. And that's not what I mean by freedom. For me, the thing I enjoy is that I'm free to do the things that I believe God would have me do and things on, by which I can serve our nation and the people that live in it. Um, I just did a memorial service today and one of the things that I talked about was the gentleman that we were remembering today was a man who served his country. He also was a man who loved his family and his friends and he loved his Savior, Jesus Christ. He always was busy about doing something for someone else and uh, for the church itself. Um, and we're very grateful he was involved in our church. This is the scripture I use. Therefore, we also have as our ambition, whether at home or absent, to be pleasing to him, speaking about the Lord. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ so that each one may be recompensed for his deeds in the body according to what he's done, whether good or bad. Knowing, therefore knowing the fear of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest to God, and I hope that we are made manifest also in your consciences. You know, uh, you need to have a purpose in life in order to have meaning in your life. For me, the older I get, the more important it is to me. It seems to make sure that the time that I do have is used for a good purpose. And especially if I can help someone else, that's my greatest reward. I've learned that nothing else will ever last, but what I do for God and others, well, someday we'll be able to look back with that uh, forever and then just say, I'm glad that I serve God first. Uh, what about you? I mean, what do you live for? Do you live just for yourself or do you live for others that are around you? If you live for others, you know what's amazing? Try to outgive God and try to outgive others as you as you try to minister to others and do kind things. You watch and see God will repay you in ways you didn't expect and other people will be more kind to you than you think you deserve, but they'll always be glad to do it because you were kind to them. Think about using your life to make a difference and always keep your eyes on God, trust Him, walk by faith, don't walk by sight, meaning don't be discouraged by the things that are going on around you. You know, I love you and God bless you. Have a great day.